This is the new Lionel 2021 catalog volume number two. It is just released on July 16th, 2021. And today I'm going to review it. We will go over all the locomotives prices and features. And then at the end, I'll give you my opinion on it. So let's get right to it. So first of all, uh, if you're familiar, I've been doing these catalog reviews for quite some time, and I see a lot of other people are kind of jumping on the catalog review bandwagon, and I think that's great. And it's kind of cool to see everybody else's opinion on it, and just kind of go over and give you mine. So here we go with the table of contents, and Lionel is showing you again, you can use their awesome uh, Lion Chief app and the new Lionel voice control, which is available now as well on select locomotives. All right, so the big news in this catalog and the thing that is making everybody go crazy is the Strasbourg number 90. And I will have to say this actually, this is a pretty cool image with it going through the, the countryside, just like it looks out there in Strasbourg, Pennsylvania. And let's get into it. So here we see the anatomy of the Legacy Steam Locomotive. You can click here to see all the whistles and bells and the lights and the bicolor lights. Pretty cool. And this catalog is available on Lionel's website, so you can come back and do it yourself and check out those features. We're not going to do that today. All right, so here they are, the two 10 O's. This is the new newly told locomotive that just is now coming out from Lionel. And we have a few different paint schemes of the Strasbourg number 90. You can see here is the one from the 1990s. Then below it you have the one from the 2000s. And then below that you have the one from 1967 to 2020. We also have the Osage Railway, the Seaboard Airlines, Great Western, and the Great Western number 90, which is where the locomotive originated from. So these are brass hybrids. And if you didn't notice already when I zoomed in, the price is $18.99. Whew, man, that's high. So what do you get for $18.99? Well, it is a brass hybrid, so you know the detailing is going to be there. You also get the standard uh, five quillable whistles and bells, and these engines will have road-specific crew talk and dialogue sounds, which is pretty cool. So this is one step below a vision line engine, basically. Could this have been a little bit less? Yes. Um, I think that so many people were screaming for this engine, and I think that the, it's great that Lionel is offering such a, a, a cool model and highly wanted, but I, I feel like the price point of this is just so high that it's going to price some people out of even buying this engine. I think that, as you'll see here, maybe on the next page or two, that we could have gone with just a regular die-cast version and made it more affordable. Would I have possibly bought one? Maybe. Will I buy this one? I'm not sure. Anyways, this engine is 19 inches in length and it runs on the 054 minimum curves. So enough of this, let's go to the next page. We have the matching passenger cars. These are the wood coaches and these are uh, the tolling from MTH. So these are very nice. I have MTH uh, wood sided passenger cars and they're, they're awesome. Uh, the price of these is a bit steep though, however, for a two pack, it is $399.99 retail. And you can get some add ons down here, a couple different observation cars. So, going along to the next page, we have the 280s. And here we have the Santa Fe, Buffalo Creek, and Gauley, the Maine Central, Western Pacific, New York Central, and the Chesapeake and Ohio. And this engine is not a whole lot smaller than the 210Os you saw previously. And as you can see, this one is priced at 
$749. It is a thousand bucks less, more than a thousand bucks less. And it has all the same electronics in it. It has whistle steam in it. It has the five bells and whistles. So you're getting a lot of features and for a lot less money. So really would have liked to see the Strasburg offered in that price range, to be honest with you. And I think I speak highly for a lot of people for that for that one. Uh, anyways, these Toyotas are uh, 031 curves, so they can operate on tight layouts, which is cool. And here we on the next page we have the AC12 cab forwards, and these are all in the Southern Pacific different liveries that they offer, and these come in at a whopping 1,999.99. And as you can see here, they are 072, 32 and a half inches in length, all the same legacy features. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy one of these. That's a hard pass. <laughs> all right, so the next one that we got here is the 4122. These are awesome. This is the second release of these, and um, I've personally run one of these that uh, a friend owns and they are awesome engines. Um, they do have the six chuffs per revolution which mimics the extra cylinder that they say is going to be operating here under the smoke box which is awesome. And these come in priced at $16.99 and you can see all those drive wheels right there. 12 of them lined up. And this is an impressive engine, and I think it's pretty cool that they're offering it again. So kudos to that one. Here it is again in some some uh, what-if paint schemes. You got the Sino, which I like. I like that. They said that how it matches the Sino look with all the, the cylinders and everything on the front there. Then we have the Milwaukee Road, the Denver and Rio Grande here in that green, which is nice looking. The Spokane, Portland, and Seattle, and the Southern Pacific. Also nice in that green color. All right, so that does it for the steam locomotives. And that's kind of the theme with this catalog is it's it's um, it's um a smaller catalog. And I believe the reason for Lionel's doing that is also um, because there is shortages of um, electronics and uh, their Bluetooth thing uh applications that they use and and uh there's shipping issues so there's a whole multitude of issues why um i believe the catalog is a little bit shorter plus not to mention it's it's volume two and there was a lot of offerings in volume one all right so moving along to the legacy diesels uh same thing here you can hit click to hear all the five bells and horns and all the standard legacy features of these engines and first up are the SD70 Max. And I tell you I have a I have a Conrail SD70 Max similar to this one and it is awesome. So uh, these come in priced at uh 649.99 and actually this one is a CSX patch. So it's actually not a Conrail even though it says Conrail on it. But that's pretty cool. Um the price of these are actually surprisingly a little bit higher than I would have thought they would have been. I would have thought these would have been more like $5.99. Um, but you can get super base units in these, which is pretty cool. They are they are $5.49.99. Um, anyways, we got the CSX patch, the BNSF, the Norfolk Southern Vomit Bonnet Scheme, the BNSF, the CSX, the p and l and the burlington northern santa fe over here bnsf i like that one cool looking scheme all right so moving along to the next page oh real quickly these are operating on 036 curves so you can run them on tighter layouts uh next up we have sd45s so these are all looking pretty awesome as well um, the one that really catches my eye here is not the Pensy, actually. It is the Norfolk Southern High Hood, which is something that is um, a first for Lionel, from what I can, from what I can remember. I don't believe they've done a High Hood Norfolk Southern for a while, so uh, pretty cool for that. These come in at five ninety nine ninety nine. They operate on O fifty four. They have the um, 
kinematic couplers on these, so they need to have a little bit wider radius curves. Um, over here we got the BNSF, the Springfield Terminal, the Milwaukee Road, and of course the Pennsylvania, and the SD4, SD45 EMD Demonstrator, which is a nice looking uh, engine right there. Love the silver trucks on that one. All right, so moving along to the next page are the DD35s. And I'll tell you what, these things are awesome. They're, they're really great engines. And I'm, I'm happy to see that they brought these back. Uh, we've got a couple of cool looking uh, fantasy schemes here. Then you have a fantasy scheme Union Pacific with the flag logo, which is awesome. That personally would be with the one I would get. Um, then you have the more traditional looking Union Pacific. And I believe the 71, if I'm not mistaken, is the prototype. I could be wrong on that. Anyways, these uh, do have to operate on 050, oh, actually it says 042, 0454 is recommended though. They are 22 inches in length and you can see they have dual smoke units in them. Pretty cool. All right, next is the SW1200s. Uh, it's a nice little switcher for $549.99. Kind of a bit steep on the price. We have the Rio Grande, the BNSF, Santa Fe, the EJ&E, Penn Central with that cool looking red PC, red and white PC logo. And then over here you have the US Steel. It's the Fairless Works. Safety first. Always remember that. These operate on a 31 minimum curves and they're 12 and a half inches in length. They do have fixed pilots, which is pretty cool too. All right, next up are the Sea Liners. The Sea Liners are a newly acquired uh, MTH tooling that Lionel has gotten. And you can see here, they're offering them for $599.99. Bingo. And they come as a single unit, so you don't have to have, uh, you know, you don't have to get two. You can get one or you can buy two. And they're offering them in two road names. And uh, we got the Fairbanks Moors, Canadian National, New York Central, Pennsylvania, and the Long Island. And then down here you can see they have some Long Island passenger cars to match up with those. And these operate on 031 minimum curves. And uh, they'll run on some nice uh, smaller layouts, which is cool. Next is the New Haven set. So this one you got, um, actually it's not a set per se, but it's a matching set if you would like to buy the engine and the matching cars, which is nice. So Lionel's kind of been going crazy with the, the New Haven and Boston and Maine stuff lately in the past two catalogs I've noticed, but uh, this is a nice paint scheme. So there you go if you're a New Haven fan. Next up is the BNSF Coal Train set. So this is a really great looking set. This comes with the BNSF SD70 Mac and you get five gondolas. And one of the gondolas has an operating end of train device, which is nice. And this set is actually really priced well considering it's $899.99. So you get the engine and five cars and these are the rotary gondolas. So pretty cool and you can add on extra ones here as well. Again, operates on 036 curves. All right, next up is the Burlington Northern Hustle Muscle Freight Set. And you got this great looking Burlington Northern green and black engine with the Hustle Muscle scheme on the side. And it comes with one of these new flat cars with the MTH looking fire truck on it, which I'm sure that's probably an MTH tolling, I'm just guessing. But uh, the set is priced at $1,099.99. Sort of a bit high, um, but not bad. The uh, locomotive does require 054 curves on this one. All right, next up we have the Cambria and Indiana Bicentennial Coal Train set. So this set is, um, it's pretty decent looking. I will say I don't really know if I care for the white trucks. I think they would look better maybe in silver. Um, also, I think that 
the cool hoppers are pretty nice looking, but I would have liked to see that scheme on all the cool hoppers, to be completely honest, and have an, an entire matching train. Um, anyways, the set comes with the Legacy Diesel, four hoppers, and a caboose, and it's priced at $999.99. Don't forget the cents part of it. It's a grand. <laughs> Anyways, it runs on 031 curve, so you can run this on a tight layout as well. And the locomotive is an SW9, by the way. All right, moving along. We have the Grand Canyon Railway Steam Passenger Set. So this is a 280 steam locomotive that comes with the four pack of passenger cars for $12.99.99. That's actually not too bad considering you get four cars and a locomotive so you got a whole set there and it says the set is approximately 88 and a half inches in length and you can see here the locomotive requires 031 curves and the passengers need 054 so essentially you need 054 curves for this set to run on not unless you don't plan on running the, the cars on, on with the engine and you can get a couple add-on cars there as well all right, so we got more of the wood sided coach packs. We got a couple Pennsylvanias, a couple more Pennsylvanias, Boston and Maine. See what I was saying? There's a lot of Boston and Maine theme going on here. Anyways, these are, again, they're $3.99 for a two pack. And next up are some freight cars. We got the uh, four door high cube box cars. And these things are really colorful and attractive looking. And they are. $129.99 so they are not cheap but they are cool I have a few of these and they're nice big cars you need to have big curves for them the two that stand out to me here are the Penn Central in the jade green with the red and white PC logo and being a Ford fan the Ford Stampings car and uh, it's pretty cool in the orange with the gray scheme alright moving along we have more of these with the graffiti. Um, you may or may not like the graffiti. Then you don't buy it if you don't like it. Simple as that. Um, the only thing that is confusing is they're charging an extra 10 bucks if you like graffiti. So, eh. They can keep it. <laughs> Anyways, the, the actually, the, the thing that I'm most excited about in this catalog that everybody just keeps flipping past and not paying any attention to is the Hobo Sound Box Cars. I am looking forward to this more than anything in this entire book, to be completely honest with you. Uh, you have an Eerie Hobo Sounds boxcar, $189.99, or you have the Rock Island. And it gets uh, it comes with two pewter figures, die-cast trucks, operating couplers. Uh, it plays freight sounds when in motion, and then when it's stopped, it will play Hobo Camp Dialogue. And that sounds pretty freaking cool so you will definitely see one of these on my layout that's the only thing i'm telling you that i'm definitely ordering out of this book for sure is one of these probably the eerie all right next up are the aar two bay hopper two packs and the cylindrical covered hoppers the two pack of cool hoppers on the left come at a price tag of 199 and the Cylindrical hoppers are $109.99 a piece. Wow. Okay. So the stuff just keeps going up, man. All right. Next up, we have uh, some new flat cars with fire trucks on them. Pretty cool. Price tag. Boing. $159.99.99. Jeez, oh, man. Uh, they look nice. Price is a little steep. Here's a shocker. So we got some more cupola cam cabooses and it looks like they've raised the price of the cupola cam caboose because they're now coming in at 219, whoops, wrong way, 219.99. And cotton belt, CP, seaboard, NP, Sioux line, and you got the Christmas North Pole Central there. So some more cupola cam cabooses. Then you got some CA1 cabooses over here on the left. They're $149.99. Uh, 
And then you have some standard O modern box cars over here. These are the more affordable line. They're coming in at $59.99. So it'd be interesting to see what these look like. I actually have a rail box that looks similar to that one right there. And they're not bad, they're not bad box cars, to be honest. Here we have some some uh standard O rotary ro bleh, rotary gondola two packs. And they are 179, or if you want to get a four pack, they're 359. So these are standard O. Keep that in mind. All right, so moving along here to the O gauge stuff. So this is the not fully scale stuff that comes with the Lion Chief or Lion Chief Plus 2.0. And the first ones up have the 2.0, and they are the Hudson and this new awesome looking Amtrak engine. So this is the Genesis phase, different phases. You got the phase five, the phase four, the phase three, and the phase five anniversary edition. I'll tell you what, I would actually wouldn't mind having one of these on the layout with some cars. And it says here, look for future releases of new paint schemes later this year and passenger cars maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, these are $449.99. The Hudsons are $599.99. All right, so here's a nice looking army set. And you can get uh, a military surplus supply store. And this is MTH tooling. You'll see some more MTH tooled buildings in here next. Got a Pennsylvania Keystone set. Seems like they have one of those in almost every book, but they're probably big sellers. And you got a nice. Nice looking passenger station there too. That's a new uh, MTH told station. Well, let's go back to the station real quick. It is one twenty nine ninety nine. Pretty sure that's definitely more than Lionel. Or I'm sorry, MTH was charging for those. All right, so here you got some personalized stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's your big old barn, Santa's reindeer. That's pretty cool. It's got the LED lights along the edge. And some some more stuff from MTH. You can tell the MTH stuff by this big, thick gray curb right here. See that, what I'm talking about? And you got the Tough Guys Gym and Fitness. That's a pretty cool looking building. Then you got another barn. That's just the plain old barn. That one's $149.99. Has LED interior, movable hay crane, and some other stuff here train orders building that one says uh when trains go by the, f the figure comes out and emerges then over here you got some more buildings you got the mth told townhouse and you got the thistle shop flower shop got a nice mission control tower there if you're a nasa fan and then the burning house again these are all mth tolling just uh, now they're Lionel. So from what I understand is MTH still has like 80 some percent of their their tooling. So don't be alarmed. MTH still has stuff to sell. <laughs> All right. So here's those fire trucks. You can buy them individually for a, a whopping $69.99. Um, and a hard pass on that. And then you got your bridges and billboards and all that kind of fun stuff. Then we get into the American Flyer, which I'll just quickly flip through here, which seems like they're doing a lot of nice things for American Flyer if you're into that. Um, I wouldn't mind having an American Flyer set just to have eventually. Some nice looking uh, freight cars there for your American Flyer sets. Some more stuff, some operating cars, some cabooses. Then we get into the Lionel HO scale. which we're already out of. <laughs> and here we are at the end of the book. So my thoughts on this catalog are, is it a good catalog or is it a bad catalog? I would say neither. I would say it's a decent catalog. Um, I think there's some cool, some good things in it. And for me, I'm not sure what I'm going to order yet out of that catalog, except for the Hobo Sounds car. I can definitely tell you I will order one of those. Um, 
Uh, if you if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe, and I will probably have a uh, a blog video where I announce what I've ordered out of the catalog officially. And um, as far as that goes, what I think, and and as a whole of the catalog, it's not bad. I mean, I think that the Strasburg number ninety price tag should have been a little bit more attractive for the younger crowds, um, and you know, just in general, just that's, it's a lot of money for anybody. So, um, that's my take on the catalog. I think the UP stuff's cool. The, the, uh, 412 the, the DD 35s are nice seeing those come back and, um, all, in all a pretty decent catalog. It's nice that it's short, so you don't have to feel like you got to buy a bunch of crazy stuff. So Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I didn't bore you. Hopefully you got a couple laughs along the way. But again, uh, thanks for watching, commenting. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below of the catalog. What you like, what you dislike, and what you think maybe should have been in there or what you'd like to see in the future. So again, my name's Nick. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you guys. Bye-bye.